Hey guys, today we're going to do a, a start up on a pool. Um, just got this pool here, a brand new uh, pebble. And we're going to do a, a, a Robert Lowry borate startup. This is something that he wrote up, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing on this pool. And Yesterday I came by and took some tap water readings and some readings of the pool. Tap water, I got a 7.8 pH, a 131 alkalinity, and a 135 calcium hardness out of the tap. In the pool, I got 178 pH 7.8, 7, uh, 127 alkalinity, Calcium hardness 167. Okay, and then uh, I added about 10 pounds of calcium chloride yesterday. Came by today, this morning already. I did a brush back on it and uh, cleaned it up and took some readings. And I got a calcium hardness of 188 this time with a pH of 78, alkalinity 127. Now we're going to leave those alone because with that um, calcium hardness at 188, we're going to leave that alone right now. Um, so I added another 14 pounds of calcium chloride today to this pool. And we now have a 214 calcium hardness um, and 7.7 7 pH, 124 alkalinity. Um, so that, that's good right now. And that 7.7 7 pH is gonna be perfect for adding borates to the pool because we're gonna expect that to come down two to three points. Um, in, after I add um, 42 pounds of borates. Now borates, the boric acid here is 76 ounces for 10 ppm in a 10,000 gallon pool. So again, this is 18,000 gallons right here. So the way we're gonna figure that out is 18,000 divided by 10,000, which gives you 1.8. The 50 ppm, divide that by 10, which gives you five. So that's gonna be five. And then the 76 ounces. So you take the 1.8 times the five, times 76 ounces, that gives you a number, divide that by 16, and you come up with 42 pounds of uh, what you need uh, for this pool. That's uh, 42 pounds of uh, boric acid for this pool. So, this is what the pool looks like after two days. Um, looking pretty good. Uh, I like the way it looks. So let's get to this here. And again, the way you, you do this, the boric acid, Distribute it through the pool and just brush it. Um, do not let it sit on the bottom because you will run into problems because this is acid, okay? So you do not let it sit on the bottom. So we don't want to add all 42 pounds at once. So we're just going to add a DE cup, about a half inch from the top is two and a half pounds. So we'll go, there's five pounds. There's 10 pounds right there. So we're just gonna brush it. It's gonna dissolve fairly fast because we are kind of warm water right now. So it's gonna dissolve a little bit faster than uh, obviously you would in cold water. So it's already pretty much dissolving. You should see a, a difference in this pool just from right after I add this. So we go 10. There's 15. There's about 20. I'm not going to add all. 42 pounds because we want to check it out and make sure we don't overshoot it. So I'm going to probably just go around 35, 35 pounds, another 15 pounds is good enough. And we'll check out the readings tomorrow and see what we have. And so already I don't even really see anything on the bottom. This dissolves really fast, especially in this warm water here. I 
Yeah, it's already looking really good. All right, let's go another 15 pounds. Gotta have the primate pole too. This thing it's really nice. Nice and light. Maneuver around the water really well. As you can see, it's not slipping. I don't have to keep messing with it. So, this is the only pole that I'm gonna be using from now on, this, this primate here. All right. Go oh, just a little bit more here. All right, that's a little less than 35. So we'll see what we got going now. Again, if your pH is down to like seven, seven three, seven four, with a low calcium hardness and things like that what you want to do <clears throat> see we got a spa over here and with that uh about a three foot two and a half foot three foot spillway right there that's aerating my water anyways but i have a nice ph to start with i don't have to worry about bringing it back up but if you need to bring it back up all you need to do is run your spa aerate maybe the jets or if you got a spillover, just, just let it run. It'll raise that pH back up. And you won't have to add any um, soda ash or, or bicarb or anything like that. All right. So, looking really good here. Looks like everything's into the pool. All right. So again, this is day two and put the boards in. You can put the boards in on day one, but um, I wanted to wait for day two uh, to get some calcium chloride in here and uh, get other things in the pool um, on the money. So um, I waited. So, but right now we're good. And as you can see, by the pool here, how good that looks. So, pool looks good, numbers are good, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow for day three.